What's up everyone? Welcome back to Mac React. Today we're watching some more of the Sandman for you guys, officially starting the second half of the season. And the last episode was an especially good one. Uh, we even said during the reaction it kind of felt like an episode of the Twilight Zone or something. It was just so dark and unsettling, but it was also kind of self-contained within the episode itself. Um, and at the end, we did see Dream get his ruby back from John. John's kind of out of the picture now, but not before causing a bunch of problems. Um, so I'm curious to see if in this episode we're going to kind of see any repercussions or consequences from what John did in the previous one, especially since Dream said that he was going to have to start fixing things. Um, and then the very last thing we saw was Desire, I think, behind Dream saying, I'm watching you, brother. So I don't know what that was about. It was kind of ominous. I don't know if the, the rest of the Endless are kind of uh, plotting something behind Dream's back or something like that, but I'm excited to find out. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Let's get into it. Let's do it. This is after everything that happened? Everybody just went back to normal? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was going to hit him. <laughs> Oh, that's her. That's that's death. What are you waiting for? He's like, y'all see her? <laughs> oh, she looks so good. This from Mary Poppins. Did you ever see it? I haven't seen Mary Poppins. It's iconic. He was locked up for a hundred years. True, true. You're right. <laughs> you didn't right. see shit. I just thought something's wrong. I mean, look at you. Sitting here moping, pigeon feeding. <laughs> I like you. He's like, well, I was put in a cell for a hundred years. Yeah. That was meant for you. A purpose beyond my function, and then suddenly it was over, and I felt disappointed. Let down. Empty. Mm, man, he's such a good actor. I think this is the sibling he's closest to. Mm. You are utterly the stupidest, most self-centered, pathetic excuse for an anthropomorphic personification. On <laughs> <laughs> You're as bad as Desire. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whoa. <laughs> you were my favorite sibling. <laughs> exactly. You didn't think. Heads up! Oh, <laughs> runs in the He's family. Like, Damn, you two. You can come with me if you want. Or you can stay here and sulk. I'll come with you, I suppose. Well, don't do me any favor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, before you go, um, can I maybe see you again? Oh, you're barking up the wrong tree, bro. Seriously? Sam. Okay, cool. Is he gonna fucking die? And oh my god, she's gone. They just pulled a Batman, didn't they? Yep. Batman. And nobody saw? No one. Oh, I think wow. he was the only one that saw because he was the only one that interacted with them. Like with oh. the ball. Just one. Thanks. Does he not know the, um, the Burgess house was meant for her? I don't think he knows. Hmm. He might not at this point. We did have one family dinner when you were away. What? The twins were in high spirits. Mm. Desire was, but anyway. With me gone, I have no doubt. <laughs> He's like the black sheep. Yeah. How are you, sis? How have you been keeping? Oh, I'm well, Dre. Thanks. <laughs> She's like, you're so good at small talk. <laughs> I'm worried about my brother. Hmm. I don't mean to win this apple. So I'm guessing she didn't know where he was or she would have gone for him. They seem close. Mm hmm Keep going. I can't. He never finished it. All we have is a fragment. Oh, forgive me, I, I am... 
Aww. Oh no, is he gonna die? So she comes to see you before you die, I guess. You see her, yeah, you see her twice in your life. When you're born and when you die. The Lord is our God. The Lord is one. Aww. I mean, at least it's her and not some scary skeleton, right. you know? Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah. I would gladly go with her. I'd right. be like, cool, let's go. <laughs> I'd be more likely to go, yeah. If you believe in heaven. <laughs> I look so old. Oh. He's out of body already. Like, it's sad, but she makes it so peaceful at the yeah. same time. You see her? Oh. Her form? She has wings? Yeah, I think she... Yeah. Oh, there's his boys. Oh. Well, that guy went without a fight, but I feel like she probably runs into people who want to fight her. Well, sometimes know? people don't understand. Mm. When I was captured, I wasn't who they were looking for. Oh. So he did know. Yeah. I know. What the fuck? She knew too? I'm <laughs> sure like, she heard it calling her. You left me there? He's like, hold on, you got some explaining to do. He did not take his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he kept them on. I'm sorry. Oh shit, he's gonna die. Is he already dead? He drowned? No. I need to talk to my wife. Oh no. Sorry, Sam. But we're not Time's up. What? Sam? Oh my god! <sighs> Damn, he knew right away, too. I think it's like an unspoken... Oh, damn. What if they resuscitate him? Would he be like, I saw death? <laughs> yeah, I think so, maybe. When the last living thing dies, I'll put the chairs on the table, turn out the lights, and lock the universe behind me when I leave. And That's crazy. Have I'd have an existential crisis if I was her. <laughs> I think so too, yeah. They fear the sunless lands, yet they enter your realm every night without fear. And yet, I only find more terrible than you. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. They don't really know it's him, though, you know? I thought about giving up. Walking out. Damn, what would happen if she did that? Right? Everybody's just stuck in limbo? Yeah. No. What? Is she there for the baby? I'm afraid so. So there is no one. That's all you get. She's not very to the long. Baby. Yeah. He was like, that's all I get. <laughs> Didn't he see her when he was born? So he was like, you're back already? That's pretty rough. Yeah. But they get it anyway. No matter what the circumstance. Shit, what happened to this dude? Oh, oh he got shot. 
Damn, her job. Right? She does this all day, every day? I would have terrible bedside manner. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Each of us stands alone. The sunless lands are far away and the journey is hard. Oh no. It isn't about quests or finding purpose outside our function. I need them as much as they need me. Oh, without them, she has no purpose. Yeah. So many cool things and people and worlds. I've learned so Oh no, she's back for Franklin. You've taught me something about the government. I thank you, my sister. He's like, I'm gonna make some crazy shit now. Right. <laughs> That's what family's about. Oh no, oh no, he's gonna get hit. Hey. Did you see them? Oh, he's dead. No. Are we a stranger, okay? Shit, he has no idea. Oh my gosh. What is this place? What? Is this in the past? Shut the fuck up! Oh! Oh! oh. This is my favorite story! I just think maybe it would be good for you to see them on their terms instead of yours. Oh, so this is his first time interacting with humans? Yeah. Well, he's interacted with them, but never, you know, in like hanging. friendly hang way. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's terrible. <laughs> She's like, we'll figure it out a couple hundred years. <laughs> yeah, eventually. <laughs> oh, honey. Definitely not. Listen to the people. Does the drink affect him? Ooh, good question. I guess we won't know. He just put it away. <laughs> the only reason people die is because everyone does it. You all just go along with it. Not me. I've made up my mind. He says he's not going to die. Yep. I'm not going to die. <laughs> this fucking guy. Winning to slide. Able to drink. People to drink with. <laughs> Hey, totally. He's got his priorities straight. I could grant him his wish. What? He will be begging for death within a century. He'll come crawling back. Interesting. She can make him immortal? Yeah. Very well, little brother. <laughs> this is so cool. Did I hear you say you have no intention of ever dying? Yeah, that's right. And you must tell me what it's like. <laughs> Let us meet here again, Robert Gadley. Oh. I am you, and I'm Paul Barber. <laughs> Will he still age? Don't mind them. He's like, don't mind them. A hundred years time. On this day. It's a date. His face. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? I'd still be here. And no one remembers. Oh wow. A wizard. Think. Demon. Oh wow, he hasn't aged. Mm -mm. In your experience. What do I have to do? Nothing. He cringed. He was like, what? Stay every 100 years. We will meet. Oh. It's like. So he missed the last one. That's what they were talking about. Yep. Because he was locked up. Mm hmm. It's fucking brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> what? He digs it? It's all changing. In what way? 
Oh. She gets to see the change, though. Now we have these little cloth pieces from the nose. In the old days, we just used our sleeves. Uh. <laughs> what will you people think of next? Damn, yeah, that must be very interesting. Something to get rid of fleas. <laughs> Something to get rid of fleas. <laughs> I've started in a new trade. It's called printing. Don't need to be a guild member. Not yet. Never be a real demand for it, and it's hard work. Oh, so he's gonna be rich in the future? A hundred years then. Wow. Don't worry. You'll find out in due time. That was not the answer he expected. Okay, the different looks. I know. <laughs> One may consort and bargain with the darkest power. Oh, he's got a spread now. Yeah, he's rich. Last we spoke, I was working with Billy Caxton, made some gold for that. Put it to work in Henry Tudor's shipyard. I made a small pile. Oh, damn, he's been making moves. Henry Tudor was a king. A healthy gift of gold to the crown, sure to. Knighthood. Damn. You only need a few hundred years right? to turn it around. Acts a bit, wrote a play. Is it good? Oh my god. Shakespeare? Yeah. The broken leg. He's a good playwright. Oh, didn't they say he had a ghostwriter? Or there's always been like a rumor that he did? Yeah. Have we met? We have. But men forget in waking hours. Oh, in his dreams. Is that your will? Wait, so he gave him the ability? It is. And let us talk. I think he gave him the or opportunity. He just, he just gave him the ideas. Yeah. He like, had the ability, but he like kind of jump started him. Yeah. All right. Bring on the land. Everything to this one. And nowhere to go but up. Love this guy. You sure I can't help you, sir? No, sir. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> he looks like a Dracula or something. Yes. With the rest of the film. Uh. Let him be. Oh, what? Here's my guest. He lost everything? I bet you he still doesn't want to die. Oh. Do you know how hungry a man can get? If he doesn't die, but he doesn't eat. Oh, probably agonizing. They tried to drown me as a witch. I lived there 40 years. I feel confident. Got yeah. They started noticing he didn't age. Yeah. Worse. He should have moved. He should have stayed moving, yeah. So do you still wish to live? Are you crazy? Death is a mug's game. I've got so much to live. My <laughs> dog! Hi. Let's go! Wow. Where they take English cotton goods to Africa, get a cargo of Negroes, pack them in like sardines, same ship takes them across the Atlantic, then comes back here with raw cotton. He's doing the slave the trade? Slave trade, yeah. I suggest you find yourself a different line of business with a brother. You're giving me advice. Yeah. You want to keep living? Not loud. Will Shakespeare. It turned out to be a half decent playwright after all. Yeah. <laughs> it sure did. Perhaps. What kind of deal? His soul? Nothing so crude. <laughs> 400 years now I've been meeting you here and there is so much. I was just about to say, he still doesn't know. I might ask both of you that same question, gentlemen. Oh. Please. Oh. These are Michael and Tobias. Smugglers by trade, although 
They're only too glad to augment their earnings by splitting throats. If That's the ancestor yeah. he was talking about. I found this. Something to be me. <laughs> you look worse. You look worse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm assuming nothing can harm him. There it is. What the hell did he do to her? You need not have come into my defense. Really? Clearly, <laughs> yeah, you can handle yourself. I'm gonna be drinking alone here in hundred years time. You didn't want him to die. Yeah, they're friends now. Hundred years then. Hundred years. God, I love the attention to detail too. In every century they go to. Mm -hmm. He gave us a start, sir. For a second, I thought you was bloody Jack yourself. Jack the Ripper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, just joshing, yeah. <laughs> Did they say that back then? Joshing? Maybe. And maybe a quick bum dance? Give us an odd ride with your cream stick. <laughs> <laughs> they said some crazy shit back then. <laughs> you anyway, you skinny chicken leery. No. Oh, there he is. Is that what they call her? Well, in here they call her the hospital. Why? Because she's in them a great deal. And because she sends so many men in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lovely. Her cousin raped and impregnated and deserted her when she was just a child. What? Aww. Saw her again, you know. Hey. Lady Joanna. She undertook a task for me. And succeeded admirably on my dad. Oh, hmm. they teamed up? I think you're here for something else. Friendship. I think you're lonely. Dare suggest one such as I might need your companionship. Well, what's so wrong with that? He's a cool guy. Yes, I do. He got so mad about it, I think he's right. Mm-hmm. And I shall take my leave of you and prove you wrong. Ugh. Oh my god. If you're here, then tear will be because we're friends. No other reason. Right? Why can't he admit they're friends? Fuck. And he wasn't there. Oh, but he doesn't know that he was locked up. Because it's 1989. That's crazy, because this is when the comic came out. Or like the first one, mm. 1989. Wow. I like how they turned it into a cool place. It's just crazy to see how it's all changed. Mm-hmm. What's the oldest you got? I've got a blend rock. Old enough to be your father. Hilarious. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe in another hundred years. You'll have to have found a new pub by then. <laughs> this place has been sold to make room for new flats. No! Oh, that's why it's like that. What enough money in this country. You can do whatever you want. What if he buys it? Oh. Please. Oh, I hope he has enough money to buy it. That would be awesome. I think by now he must. Oh, damn, I wonder if he's in there waiting for him right now. Oh. The new inn. Oh, literally. Oh. <laughs> the new inn. Wi-Fi password. I think he did that for him in yeah. case he ever showed up. Mm -hmm. He's probably the owner. Oh, I hope so. Yep. There he is! He's like, you son of a bitch. You're late. <laughs> 200 years late, yeah. Apology. Best friend. Polite to keep one's friends waiting. 
Let's go. Oh. <laughs> this is one of the few stories that's like kind of happy. Ha has a happy ending? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's nice. Oh, iconic. Oh. That looks crazy. Dude. My brother has found a way out of his cage. Our plan has failed. Our plan? Oh, you saw the symbols uh, of all the siblings? Oh, I saw the onk for death. For death? Ooh. Hey. Love it. <laughs> Dude, okay, that was really crazy because like their um one of their last like interactions in the comics was 1989 you know mm. and like dream's hair was all crazy and like he looked like totally 80s and perfect and I was really hoping to see it but because they did that because extra they, they changed it for the show now the timeline was a little bit off right? yeah a little bit off but obviously they changed it a little bit for the show but I didn't hate it because you know ultimately we still had you know, dream going back and realizing that that was his friend. And yeah. I thought they did it so well. And I think the conversation he had with death, with his sister, mm. was kind of the catalyst for him wanting to go see his friend again. Because yeah. you remember, but like when he was first on the bench feeding the pigeons, he was saying like he just felt nothing inside, like empty. Depressed. And his whole adventure, like tag along with her, doing her job kind of made him realize that he needs them too, not just them needing him. And that was the whole point of the interaction with Hob, right? Cause his original name was Hob, yeah. but um, that was the whole purpose of the interaction with him and really going to the tavern in the first place was like to get to understand humans, get to understand their role as, you know, kind of their gods, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, that's why he met him every hundred years was just to kind of like understand how his mind works and everything. But obviously it led to a friendship. So I thought this was a really cool way to portray that. And when I read it in the comics, it was the first time I had ever seen something done like that. And I thought it was amazing. And I can't believe they hit it out of the park. I do think that for Dream, at first, the, um, the stuff with Hob was kind of just a, an experiment. Because at first he did say, like, I'm assuming in 100 years, this dude is just going to want me to put him out of his misery. Yeah. But over time, I think it became more of um, like an experiment, like a curiosity to keep coming back to. But because Hob lived so long, he himself was almost like uh, one of the endless. Yeah. You know, in, in a way. And so over time, I think he started to see Hob as more of an equal mm -hmm. um, and, and a real friend. Yeah, you know, I can that, see that. That kind of keeps him grounded and connected to humanity. Yeah, especially because we saw him in the 1389 and he was just, you know, kind of looked at humans like they were beneath him. So, you know, having this level of respect with another human, um, I think is really cool for Dream, but it also, that's why you can see why sometimes he can be sympathetic for humans, you know, mm -hmm. especially like with um, the John Burgess thing, you know, he knew that all that stuff wasn't necessarily his fall, right? Like he kind of got thrown in with a bad mom. So he gave him the benefit of the doubt and put him back in the hospital and put him to sleep. And you know, you know the whole Burgess episode, even him being in um, the basement locked up, that all came after he had his fight yeah. with Hob. So he was already kind of soured to humanity at yep. that point. So I think, yeah, his talk, again, his talk with death was really important. Oh yeah. Kind of brought him back. Um, and I, I, I think one little detail that was kind of um, kind of cool was Dream, when he went to the tavern the very first time, if you if you saw, he like, he had a drink in his hand, he put it away. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't want anything to do with it. But over time, he was like more and more cool with just like grabbing a drink with his boy. Probably because they taste better too. Probably that too, <laughs> yeah. Like, but I agree with you. It's more of like uh, that friendship level. Yeah. Like I'm hanging out. Yeah. Even if I don't like the drink, I'm still gonna drink with my friend and exactly. have fun. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, a couple things I do want to bring up um, that I was kind of curious about. I thought in this episode, we were gonna see kind of how humanity was dealing with 
the fallout from what uh, John did in the previous episode, because we saw on the on the TV screen, it wasn't just self-contained um, what John was doing to that diner. It was happening all over the world. And we even right. saw at the end of the episode, it looked like they were just out there purging. Yeah. And I'm assuming tons of people died and stuff like that. So I don't know how, how much time has passed between hmm. what John did that night and this episode. But I was kind of shocked to see that humanity just seemed to have forgotten or, or maybe maybe he put them all to sleep and like made them forget or like, I don't know. Like, made it all seem like a dream. But but they had destroyed cars and buildings like that stuff wouldn't just go away. And I don't think he has the power to just like, you know, rewind and make it all go back to the way it was. So that was True. just a big question mark to me. I thought we were going to get into like repercussions of that and we never did not only did we not get into it it seemed like there weren't any you know i mean yeah because also i think he's um in a different country no because he was in england here but i assumed it was happening all over the world i mean you're right and yeah no i think he was in america yeah he was in america and then he and now he was in england so you're right like if it was going on everywhere we would have seen it where he was here yeah. too. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll really touch on that. I mean, we got a little clips of it like in the comics, you know, cause, but they were also touching on it as we were in the diner with John, yeah. you know? So I don't know if we'll actually get a full episode. Maybe they kind of like cut that to fast track the story. Maybe. But um, yeah, you're right. I feel like there would be a lot of repercussions from that. Cause I mean, buildings were on fire and like cars were on fire. That I'm, was I'm assuming a lot of people died that night too, just like, I don't know, people not want living their lives anymore and like doing whatever they want. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, that was just a big question mark to me. Maybe at some point they will touch on it, but I was surprised to see that in this episode, they didn't. Now, the other thing I did want to mention is that the very last thing we saw in the previous episode was desire kind of behind dream um, being kind of ominous. Yeah. And then this episode ended the same way. We didn't see Desire the whole episode. And then at the very end, we get like an uh, an ominous scene. With them like, and all the, I guess like, uh, what would like, you- Like uh, uh, symbols Horcru or like talismans or something like that. Yeah, I was gonna say Horcruxes, but yeah, like of all the other endless. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of curious as to what's going on there. And they said um, like, they were, they, they knew Dream was locked up mm -hmm. and like, he got out and it was a going according to plan or something like that. It was, yeah. So it seemed like some of the endless plotted against him. Um, and even uh, the, in the conversation with Death, I know Death mentioned they had had a family dinner. Right. And also mentioned that because you weren't there, Desire didn't have anybody to like bitch at. Yeah. So it, it seems like they already did not like each other or something. Yeah, but Death kind of played it off like it was sibling rivalry. You know? Yeah. Like Desire missed having their person to I poke thought at I the thought table. it was a clue though for like who's doing the plotting, you know? It's probably Desire. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean but it's just weird, you know, having all the talismans out because you know what what are you gonna do? Like to death. What has death done? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and what repercussions would that cause on Earth? So True. Yeah, if I don't you, know. If you kill death or get rid of death, like, are people just going to be stuck in limbo? Or are they all going to be like Hob? I, they all can't die, you know? I honestly don't know, but I think we would, like, die from overpopulation if no one died. Eventually, right? Eventually, <laughs> yeah. So, honestly, this episode was crazy, but it was cool that we kind of ended on desire, just like we did in the last one. Kind of like that ominous threat, you know, in yeah. the background. All right, guys, this was an amazing episode. We can't wait to get into the next one. So if you want to catch that with us and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Becky, Joshua, Scott, and Sand. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now, before we go, we did want to announce another round of voting for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon. And the movie choices are Batman Returns, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and Top Gun. We haven't seen any of these movies yet, so we're really excited to see what you guys pick. Now our last Patreon movie was Who Framed Roger Rabbit? We had a blast watching this movie. It was so much fun and it will be exclusively on our Patreon for the rest of this month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on our next one, we'll leave a link for our Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out guys. Bye.